Hello everyone, Essex Exclusive here, and today I'm here to do an amazing haul video of some new dolls that I got at Goodwills. I got some amazing dolls that I never thought I would actually find for a very good price at Goodwills. Several Goodwills, actually, because um, yesterday, which was November 11th, my dad and I went to several Goodwills in my area to look for some things and also go thrifting because my dad tends to shop at, like, Goodwills a lot because he usually finds some great things for the backyard. And for me, I tend to tag along to find some dolls that I can bring home and fix up. Now, sometimes you can find some dolls and sometimes you don't find dolls, which I am pretty much aware, aware about. And also the dolls that you find at Goodwills are not really like Bratz or Monster High. You would normally find some Barbie dolls, like newer ones and also 90s Barbies, which I'm really excited for because you never know what you can find and bring home. I actually bought home some amazing dolls, which you guys are gonna be really shocked to see in this video. So let's get to it because I'm, I cannot wait any longer. Alrighty, so the first Goodwill that my dad and I went to, um, it was pretty brand new because it used to be a Kroger until they moved out and then it became a Goodwills. So I was in the toy section and there wasn't a lot of toys to begin with, but I did find this lone Ken doll for $1.99. So he is the Life in the Dream House Ken doll. And as you can see, he's pretty all right in a way. But I mostly bought him because I wanted to give his body to my fashionista Ken over here. So I don't know what number he is, but I really wanted to give him this body. So in the end, this Ken is going to have this body and this Ken is going to have this body. So there's that. For $1.99, I was like, okay, this is a great start. It was awesome. So there was that. Alrighty, so then we went to several Goodwills. There weren't a lot of dolls to begin with. Some dolls were there, some dolls weren't, and I was like, okay, whatever. But then, when I went to this Goodwill, there were some dolls that were priced at 79 cents and 99 cents. I paid about like $8 for all of these dolls. And I was honestly so surprised and so happy. But there is like one Barbie doll from the 90s that I also got because she was so pretty. And plus she was only like 99 cents. But as you can see, here we have, um, what's her face? Hollywood hair Barbie from the 90s. She's so pretty. Her hair is still in good condition. I do need to fix it and wash it and everything. So, but it is in Saran, I believe. So that's awesome. Also, she... It may seem like she's missing one earring, but I do have her other earring right here. It just broke that when I was like trying to remove some hair from her earrings. So it kind of sucks that she only has one earring that's like in her whole ear hole. So I may have to like cut this out and then try to find a way to like make this work. But other than that, she's also really cool. And she came with this pink dress. It's kind of falling apart, sadly. Which I think I'll try and like, you know, use it for other purposes, like other fabric or skirts or whatever. So there was that. She also had this um, bandana, this gold bandana that was supposed to tie around her head, but it became her hair tie. So I'll definitely make use with this. Also, the interesting thing is that she still has her ring on her hand. Now, normally when you find dolls that have ring holes, a majority of the time you do not find their rings on it. But this doll still has her star ring, which is awesome. So I'm really, really excited about that. So yeah, I really do love her and I love the 90s Barbies. I am slowly trying to like, you know, collect the 90s Barbies that I can find because they're so pretty and so cute. So yeah, there is Hollywood hair Barbie. And now comes the amazing, amazing haul of them all because I wasn't expecting to find these dolls at Goodwills for a very cheap price. These dolls are almost brand new because they haven't been in stores for a long time, but I was astonished to find them at Goodwills already because if I can get them all together, I have here, whoop, some LOL OMG dolls. Yes, I got some OMG dolls from Goodwills and all of them ranged from 79 cents to 99 cents. And I know you guys are probably thinking like, what? OMGs? <laughs> yes, 
eight of them actually. So what happened was that um, at this specific Goodwill, I didn't think that I was going to find any dolls here and there. I, I thought I was going to find maybe a Barbie. But when I turned at the corner into the toy section and I saw their colorful hair and everything, I was like, oh my gosh, these OMG dolls, they're already here? Like, someone decided to like give them away? Like, oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting to find OMG dolls. And for some reason, I just kept looking around and around and I just kept finding more and more and more. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many. All right, so I did get eight of them. Seven of them were about 79 cents and one of them was just 99 cents. But I was able to get them for less than $10, which is amazing, along with the Barbie, of course. So I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I was really excited to actually have some OMG dolls. All right, but before we begin, I will say that all of these dolls still need their wash and everything. Some of them do not have hands, and they all have oh, some bits of outfit pieces here. I only have like two outfit pieces from like some dolls, but there's that. Um, but yeah, some of them do not have hands, which I will address later in this video. But so we're gonna start with wave one. We have Lady Diva. Now I wasn't expecting to find her because she was like piled under a lot of toys and when I found her green hair I pulled her out and I was like oh, Lady Diva oh my gosh and she's still in great condition her hair just needs some help but her bangs are still fluffy and she's absolutely beautiful she's actually my favorite OMG doll from the first wave and I'm actually surprised that I have her now she's definitely a diamond dozen only problem is that she doesn't have her original outfit pieces nor does she have hands Yes, as you can see, she doesn't have hands. But don't worry, because I did order some spare hands from AliExpress, which was honestly my first time shopping for spare hands. Because on AliExpress, you can probably find some listings that have like spare hand pieces here and there. And because I only have five dolls that do not have their original hands, I did order some hands from AliExpress. My package is not going to arrive until December, so that is going to be like next month. And they said that the estimated delivery time is going to be around de December 1st through December 21st. So somewhere in between those weeks and such. But at least I will be getting hands. I mean, I hope so. I was a little nervous because it was my first time buying from AliExpress. And thankfully, I had some people to like give me advice and everything of what to do and how it went and if I had any problems or concerns they they can you know reassure me that it was gonna be okay so yeah there was that I don't really mind that they don't have their shoes or their outfit pieces because I can just make new outfits for them and for shoes I think Monster High shoes can fit these dolls it mostly depends on what it is I know for sure boots and ankle boots can work but some slippers, some heels do not. There we have Lady Diva. Very beautiful. I love her so much. Another doll from the first wave, we have Royal Bee. She's definitely very, very pretty. Like, I love her afro hair. And I also love her two twists in the front right here. I will have to fix her twisty bits of hair because it is kind of coming apart. But I'll definitely fix it with some elastics and then blend it into her hair because... You know she's pretty she's definitely pretty like I love everything gold on her and again she does not have hands so I did order some hands in her skin tone on AliExpress as well here's Royal B she's definitely very pretty and I cannot wait to make an outfit that definitely screams gold on her and lastly from the first wave we have swag she is awesome. She's definitely, like, really sassy. Like, I love her micro braids. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. And I also love her makeup. Her makeup is so colorful. Like, I love the blue eyeshadow and the red lips. And again, no hands, sadly. But I did get her um, undergarments, which is this um, leotard that says OMG, LOL, LOL, OMG. And it's so pretty. I love it. So the only thing she came with was just her <laughs> um, undergarment. So there's that. But even so, she's definitely the prettiest. I love her so much. I got three of the first waves. And now moving on to dis Winter Disco. So for the Winter Disco line, I got two that were 
regular releases and one that is from like a uh, collector's release. So starting with the collector release, I got Crystal Star. Now I know that this doll tends to be sold for like really expensive price, like about $50 or so. Because she's supposed to have like a stand where it lights up and she it's almost like an ornament or some way. But I'm honestly surprised that I actually found her for 79 cents. And the best part is, is that she still has her hands. Like, look at that. She still has her hands, and they're originally hers, so that's awesome. And I still have her jumpsuit. I just don't have her shoes, nor that skirt portion that goes around her waist. But she's definitely awesome. And there was also another crystal star when I went to Goodwills, which I was like, oh my god, two crystal stars? That is crazy. However, the other one was basically butt naked and she did not have any of her hands. So I mostly just got the one that was like in better condition that had both, had both her hands and her outfit. So, so that was Crystal Star. And next I have Cosmic Nova. And she's still in great condition, except that her hair is like falling out in some places. So I may have to take it down wash it and put it right back up i'm planning to make to like take these like pink ties out and just make her hair flow from the very pigtails and such but she's definitely really pretty she was my favorite from the from the winter disco line and sadly no hands but soon she'll get some hands in the next month or so <laughs> but yeah she's definitely pretty i love her very very much and i'm all gonna be honest with you guys i feel like this this fabric here, this dress, will definitely be, will definitely make an amazing, like, mini dress for her, personally. So, yeah, there's, um, Cosmic Nova, my favorite doll ever. Last, from the Winter, Di Winter Disco line, I can't really say that name, we have Dolly. And she is definitely pretty. She reminds me of Melanie Martinez because of the split hair. I'm sorry if there's, like, you know, noise going on in the background because my dad's in the backyard hammering stuff. But... Yeah, she's definitely really pretty, and I'm definitely gonna have to fix her hair because um, I really want to put her hair back in the, um, you know, split personality and everything, but it's gonna be a bit troublesome, honestly, because it already blends down in the middle. But I do love her makeup. Her makeup's very glittery. All the dolls in this line have really glittery makeup. I love that. And also, hands! Girl, she got her hands! Woohoo! That's awesome. There are some pieces falling out. She is having hair falling out of her head, but I'll definitely fix that when I give her a wash. So yeah, there's Dolly. So next that we have two dolls from separate releases. I believe this is like the third release. I'm not too sure which, um, but I did get Alt Girl and she's definitely really pretty. Her hair is very soft. It's all straightened and everything, but I'll definitely give her a wash. So yeah, it's very vibrant. And she's the last doll that doesn't have hands. Oh, that sucks. But again, hopefully the hands that I ordered from AliExpress will come. I hope it does. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but don't worry. Some people who have shopped on AliExpress before told me to, it's okay. They reassured me that it was gonna be okay. But yeah, there's Alt Girl, definitely an amazing doll. I love her very, very much. I cannot wait to make some outfits for these girls in terms of their how they originally styled and everything, so yeah. And last but not least, we have, I think this is Downtown BB. She didn't come with her sister. I was trying to look high and low for Uptown Funk, Uptown Girl. I think her name is Uptown Girl, not Uptown Funk. <laughs> But yeah, we have down, Downtown BB. I couldn't find her other sister, but that's okay. She's definitely awesome because of her long blue hair. And she only came with one of her hands. And I know for sure it's hers because she um, has painted black and white nails. And I also had this hand right here that was on, um, what was it, Royal Bee's hand but it's, it, it wasn't her the same shade as hers so I gave it to this girl instead and I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try and paint um the black and white nails again on her just to make it a complete hand for her so yeah there is downtown BB very cool I'm really happy <laughs> um so yeah 
Anyways, that's all the dolls I got. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was really shocked to find some OMG dolls at Goodwills because honestly, I wasn't expecting to find them so soon at like Goodwills and everything, so that was awesome. So yeah, I cannot wait to add these girls to my collection. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video and I'm really happy to have some new dolls and of course a new collection in my entire doll collection. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, more videos will be up soon whenever I get new dolls, like maybe a, a haul of dolls here and there. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video, and I'm gonna just gonna use Crystal Star here to say goodbye. So yeah, goodbye!